Greetings, fellow travelers from across the cosmos. We have some important topics today. We're going to go down the nuclear rabbit hole. The Uranium One deal. And why you should be concerned about nuclear proliferation. And why radioactive reactors are threats to our national security. You order behind the scenes, someone is selling bomb grade material to the highest bidders? I wanted to look at Hillary's Uranium One deal with Vladimir Putin from another perspective. The question nobody is asking is why would the Russians buy uranium when they have enough nuclear weapons to bomb the entire Earth 23 times over? Russia has the largest landmass in the world with tons of untapped reserves of uranium. I believe that the main reason why Russia bought the uranium is because the Kremlin feared if they did not buy the uranium from Hillary, she would sell it to one of Russia's sworn enemies. Perhaps on Poroshenko in the Ukraine. Imagine Putin. He's getting the letter from Hillary Clinton. Regarding the transfer of the uranium and putting all the money into her personal cash pocket and not the state of the United States. What is this bullshit? She don't even care about her own country. But what about Erdogan, the strong-armed dictator that dissolved Turkey's constitution and had the stones to shoot down Russian warplane bordering its airspace? Or perhaps even the Georgian nation of the, or the Chechen rebels, or Saudi prince, or even the made-up ISIS, or just some wannabe rich terrorist, or some sick demented SEO that has six months to live that wants to go out with a bang. This is how we draw the racket. This no doubt probably brought up the price of the uranium, and the Russians agreed to pay truckloads of cash for it so they could lessen the risk of nuclear proliferation ending up in the hands of a psychopath. Perhaps this was Hillary's and Bill Clinton's biggest heist of cash that any politician could ever get, and the price was high. But why would Russia be entitled to get this uranium over the other bidders? That's the main thing people are having a problem with is why would Hillary give it to Russia? And in some ways they were obligated due to a treaty. So the Russians agreed to pay truckloads of cash for it so they could lessen the risk of nuclear proliferation ending up in the hands of a psychopath. The USA was in violation of its treaty with Russia to curb its own proliferation of bomb grade material. The uranium was supposed to be mixed or reprocessed to not make nukes. The problem with reprocessing is that you're dealing with MOX fuel, which is way more dangerous and more expensive to run. They gave up at the Savannah River site because it was too expensive to build. Flimsy Shady Lindsey Graham was pissed all about the delays as he was overlooking the nuclear operations there. Poor South Carolinas. They exposed to the heavy rats from all type of nuclear operations across the Carolinas. Since the U.S. could not keep up their end of the deal, having Russia buy the excess uranium would seem to be a realistic option. The problem is the money the Russians paid should have went to the taxpayers, not the Clinton Foundation. This is why I believe the Clintons created the Russian hysteria to hype up its base. Putin, the magnificent KGB hacker who types password in the password field and reads the Podesta emails like a bedtime story next to the fireplace in his cool Siberian getaway cabin. Perhaps Putin for the time being has stopped a covert nuke by proxy. If the nuclear material did fall into the wrong hands and major cities were nuked, there would be hell to pay. Frightening, is it? 
living in a world where nukes are being auctioned off. It's no wonder that Putin would rather negotiate with Trump. And this made Hillary really jealous. As Putin was showing his favorability towards Trump because he was tired of Hillary and her slick dealing. It was just too much for Hillary to bear and played a factor in the Russian hysteria of hacking the election. So far the only evidence of Russian collusion are Facebook ads bought by Russian loyalists who despise the Clintons. Not exactly incriminating. And Zuck approved taking the money, so blame Mark Zuckerberg. What I found utterly hilarious is the Robert Mueller is found deep down the rabbit hole being the transfer guy, acting as the uranium pimp that brought the samples to the Kremlin to test the purity like a cocaine dealer. However, you don't want to put this yellow powder on your tongue. The question needs to be asked, did Robert Mueller receive a payoff for helping transfer the uranium to the Russians, which would clearly be an ethics violation at the least? or worse seen as a traitor in America. The reality is everything is for sale. The quality of your food is for sale. Contaminants in your water is for sale. Pollutants the air and you breathe is for sale. Keeping you sick and docile is a sales strategy. Everything has a price to these globalist rats. So this whole notion that Russia needed the nuclear material does not add up. Russia with its estimated nuclear bomb stockpile of around 5,000 nukes could bomb all 195 countries 23 times each before the uranium one purchase. You gotta wonder who were the other bidders? The Saudi prince? A sick demented CEO with six months to live wanting to go out with a bang? 